Hey everybody, MT here. This is the second video on how to do the differential oil changes on the Subaru Forester. In my last video, I showed you how to do the rear differential. This one's gonna be on the forward differential. If you look in your maintenance booklet, you'll see that Subaru tells you you should inspect the level and the condition of this fluid every so often. Or if you're driving in severe conditions, which most of us are, you should change it at every 15,000 miles. I changed mine at 30,000 miles and I'm doing it again at 100,000 miles and it looked really good. I want to make this video really simple and straightforward, so let's jump to it. You're going to want to jack your car up and pop the hood so you can put a light in the area that you're going to be working. Try and get your car pretty close to level. It doesn't need to be exact, just get it close. This is a really good jack point right here. You need to get behind your right front tire. You can take off your tire if you want, or like what I did, just turn your steering all the way to the left and that'll open up that area. I recommend starting with the fill plug because this is in there really, really tight and you wanna make sure you can get that off before you drain your oil. Try using a little bit of penetrating oil or something similar to help break it free, but you're gonna want a big breaker bar and eight millimeter Allen socket, get in there and it's gonna take a little bit of force. I know mine did, it was really tight. Once you get it broken loose, go ahead and pull that fill plug out. Now we can start working from the bottom. You need to get this plastic cover off the bottom of the transmission so you can get to your drain plug. You're gonna need a 12 millimeter socket and a screwdriver to get a couple of retainer clips that are in there. You're gonna want a T70 Torx socket and also that eight millimeter Allen socket. Get a good drain pan and a rag and some nitrile gloves. I'd recommend starting with cleaning the general area around the overflow plug and the drain plug. You just want it to be nice and clean. You don't want any dirt to get in there. Use a cleaner of your choice. I mean, hey, even WD-40 will work. Now you can break the overflow plug and the drain plug loose. They're not anywhere near as tight as the fill plug on the side, so you don't have to use as big a breaker bar as I am. When you pull the overflow plug out, a little bit of oil will come out. It's not a big deal and it's usually pretty dirty. Then pull the drain plug and you can take a quick sample if you're into that and walk away, let this drain for a while. This would be a good time to clean up your plugs. Check and see what kind of buildup you have on your magnet. Mine looks pretty good. There's just a little bit of metallic sludge on there. There's no big chips, no flakes. It's just a little bit. So this looks really good for having 70,000 miles on it. Use whatever cleaner you feel like. I used a little bit of WD-40 to kind of loosen it up and then blasted everything off with a little bit of carburetor cleaner. It leaves it really clean and dry. Then you're gonna wanna get your new gaskets out and go ahead and put those on. At this point, your plugs are ready to be installed and you can move on to the next part. I would recommend having a torque wrench that you can use so when you install the plugs, you can get them to the correct tightness. Wipe the seating area for the gasket clean and install the drain plug, and then you can torque it to 51.6 foot-pounds. Grab your gear oil of choice and a good gear oil pump. I got this one at Walmart for about four and a half bucks. I'm using Subaru factory 75W90 gear oil. You can use whichever brand you like. I just recommend that you go with the correct viscosity. Wipe your fill port clean so you don't get any dirt in the gearbox. 
and find a good way to get your gear oil pump hose up there and start filling. Now you're gonna fill until oil starts to come out the overflow port. That's how you know you're gonna be full. Once it does, then you can put your overflow plug in with a new gasket and torque that down to 36.9 foot-pounds. And then you can put in your filling plug and torque that to 36.9 foot-pounds also. Now you just have to finagle that awkward plastic transmission cover back on. Don't forget the two plastic retainer clips and that's pretty much it, you're done. Here's a quick look comparing my front differential oil to the rear differential oil and brand new fluid. Thanks for watching guys. If you like this video, please take a moment and hit the subscribe button below. As always, if you have any questions or comments, leave them below and I'll try and get to them. Thanks guys.